हेलो एवरी वन गुड इवनिंग वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सिविल जस्ट टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट अ टॉपिक ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग विच इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट विच इज डैम एंड द क्लासिफिकेशन और द टाइप्स ऑफ द डैम्स सो लेट एस स्टार्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल स्टडी द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द डैम्स हेयर इट इज रिटर्न डैम्स थीज आर द हाइड्रोलिक स्ट्रक्चर विच आर कंस्ट्रक्टेड अक्रॉस अ रिवर टू स्टोर द वाटर ऑन द अपस्टीम साइड और टू डाइवर्ट इट वेन इट इज नेसेसरी और रिक्वायर्ड so basically what are the dams dams are the hydraulic structures hydraulic means it is related or concerned with the water it is these are the hydraulic structures which are constructed across a river or a stream here you can see a diagram where i have shown the river flowing in a direction and here it there it there is a hydraulic structure which is called as dam so this dam is constructed to store the water or to divert the water when it is required so basically dams are constructed on the river and it has different purpose, purposes it has that purposes of storage or it or it may be the serve the purpose of uh, diverting the water when it is required so basically dams are the hydraulic structures built on the river bodies next if we discuss about the classification of dams so we can classify the dams on the three types on the three basis we can differently classify the dams first of all you can see that on the basis of usage that how can we use that dam when first of all when we construct the dam then we know it's using then whether it is used for the storage purpose or for the diversion purpose or uh, next other uh, another then there are different purposes and secondly the, there is the on the basis of hydraulic design that how which kind of hydraulic design is followed in the construction of dam there are different kinds of hydraulic dam design based on the construction or the structure of the dam and and that structure we classify the dams on the basis of our hydraulic design that how the water will flow through the dam basically this is the point on the basis of which we classify the dam on this basis and third on the last on we classify the dam on the basis of material on the basis of material that of that of which material our dam is constructed so these are the basically three types on which we classify our dams so next we study our uh, first thing usage we classify the dam on the basis of usage you can see that here it is storage dam storage dam is basically as the name indicates it is used for the to store the dam when the when the river when the water from the river is coming and we have to store the river water then we construct the storage dam here are the some examples of the storage dam which are gravity dam earth dam rockfall dam now these are the dams which we will study later but later in the in the later videos but these are the examples of the dam so it is the uh, gravity dam earth dam rockfall dam are the Uh, some types of dams which are basically the classified as storage dam for the purpose of storage of water next uh, is our diversion dam diversion dam you can see that its examples and weir and barrage and its purpose is to divert the water we have seen it seen it to divert it when it is necessary when we have to change the direction of the water or we we use weir weir and barrages so there is a difference between weir and barrages uh, uh, but here we don't discuss this but the diversion dam is the dam which is used to divert the water and weir and barrages are the example of our diversion dam next thing is our detention dam now detention dam is first of all we have to understand the concept of det detention that detention means controlling anything means controlled uh, use controlling of anything is known as a detention and in and here when when a water flowing in the river contains a large number of huge amount of sediments then we have to control the sediments and then to control the sediments we have constructed detention dam which retain the sediment and then remove so basically i've written it to retain the sediment and then remove we use the detention dam basically uh, like it's, it's example you can say that dike and tabris dam dike and tabris dam dike dam is constructed of a thick wall thick wall which prevents the sediments to move on so basically dike is consisting of a dike dam is consisting of a thick wall and tabris tabris you know that it is a second it is a synonym of garbage it is a synonym of garbage or uh, debris is the word used for the um, sea or marine garbage so basically debris dam is used to uh, used to contain used to remove the uh, sea garbage from the water 
or the sediments from the water so basically it is used for the purification the tension dam is used for basically the purification and the water removed water flow after the dam will be purified then the from the um, uh, filthy water and sediments materials so this is the purpose for uh, this is the classification on the basis of usage next we define our hydraulic design on the basis of hydraulic design we can further classify our dams into overflow dam and non overflow dam here is hydraulic design classified overflow dam and non overflow dam so generally called as spillway basically overflow dam is also called as spillway and its distinction is and the water flows over through the crust so basically as the name indicates the in the overflow dam the water flow over through the crust above the crust of the dam and this is basically the design this is basically the construction or the engineering used in the construction of the dam so it is classified on the basis of engineering design of the dam so first of all we have overflow dam which is generally called a spillway and the water flows above the crust next thing is next classification is non overflow dam and as a name indicate the dam in which the water flows through gate opening or sluice opening is called non overflow dam means uh, if the water flows above the crust or above the dam then this is known as overflow dam but if uh, there are gates present there are gates or any kind of opening present in inside the structure of the dam and through these gates through these gates when these gates are opened then the water flows then these dams are known as overflow dam so basically what is the difference between overflow dam over in the overflow dam the water flows above the crust but in the non overflow dam there are gate openings or sluice small openings inside the at the bottom of the dam at the bottom of the dam structure and when the water flows through the, these gate openings or sluice opening then it is called as non overflow dam and its examples are gravity dam earthen dam steel dam etc so basically these are the types of the dam and we use these uh, we uh, these are the examples of different dams which we which we are classified as in the basis of the usage and hydraulic design on the material based classification so uh, hope you guys understand the concept of overflow dam and non overflow dam that non overflow dam uses the gate opening or sluice for the passage of the water next thing is our material based classification material based classification is our last classification and the it is further classified into rigid dam, dam and non rigid dam we can also call that rigid body dam rigid body dam or non rigid body dam or rigid dam or non rigid dam simply we can define a stiff materials that are used for construction with little or no deformation so in these type of dams the construction is of materials that are stiff and which there is no chance or little chance of deformation exist so basically when there is little or no deformation chances exist then the, then we can refer this dam or call this our dam as rigid dam on, on classified on the material based and its examples are gravity dam buttress dam arch dam arch dam is in the form of the arch when the river is flowing and we construct the dam in the form of the arch in the form of the arch then we use it then we call this it as the arch dam so friends after arch dam we have the steel dam and steel dam is basically uh, we can say as coffer dam and what is coffer dam coffer dam is a temporary structure what is coffer dam coffer dam is a temporary structure which is used which is constructed to exclude the water from a given site to perform a specific operation so whenever we have to dry a surface water surface and we have to exclude the water from the site then we use temporary structure that the water goes into the coffer dam and here it is and the and the site is dewatered and the water is stored temporarily in the coffer dam so that is known as our dam coffer dam and its steel dam is basically a type of coffer dam and next is our timber dam which in which timber or wood is used as for the construction material so these are some um, rigid dams which are classified on the material based and rigid dam is is the is the dam constructed by the stiff materials which are used for construction with little or no deformation exist and next we have to talk about the non rigid dams next we have to talk about the non rigid dams 
and you can see that the simply it is opposite of rigid dams dams in which deformations are possible in which there can exist some deformations inside the structure after the construction is known as a non rigid dams and its examples are earth dams and the rock fill dam these basically are the two examples earth dam and rock fill dam earth we can also say that earth dam as embankment dam it is basically constructed by a compacted layer of earth different compacted layer of earth construct the earth dam and which is also known as the embankment dam so this is first example of non rigid dam and secondly rock fill dam in which the rock material is compacted and we fill as the name indicates by the rock filling by the rock material filling we uh, construct the dam it is known as a rock fill dam and it is basically the permeable dam it is basically the permeable dam from which the water can pass through so basically this is our non rigid dam and the in the previous page we see that our rigid dams so basically guys these are the different types of dam these are the different classification of dam which we have seen on the basis of usage hydraulic design and on the basis of material and what is basically dam we have seen that it is a material it is a hydraulic structure which is constructed across the river to store the water on the upstream side like it is its upstream side and it is its downstream side or to divert the water when it is required so uh, this is all about the today's lecture hope guys you guys um, understand the concept of dam and its classification if you like this video then kindly subscribe my channel and hit the like button and we will meet in next video thank you and allah hafiz